a set length that you would expect them to bowl or a length that will suit them could be uh, depending on their style of bowling. Well, the set length gives you an indication of where it's tougher to score on the wicket in terms of the pace, in terms of the little bit of movement. That length will give you a clue. And then it's up to that bowler to find his own length that's going to hit the top of off stump. Goes across the line. Just on that discussion that you guys are having. I still think you can't be predictable. So even if you have a stock length, you still got to try and maybe change pace with a couple deliveries in and over. Be a little bit on the short side or maybe get it a little bit fuller. Because in T20 cricket, you know, batsmen could easily set themselves for you if you're predictable in terms of your lengths. But what works here today for the bowlers is this pitch is a little unpredictable. Bit variable in pace and bounds. Slower delivery, he's picked it up. Picked it up nicely. And out of nowhere, Laurie Evans. Correction, Dinesh Chandimal puts the pressure on the bowler. That's the 151st six of the tournament. It, oh, if we watch this, Benura Fernando's gone slower ball. Dinesh Chandimal's just hit through the line. Great connection. And, and hit it for six. Guys, th th that is always the one debate that we always have in the dressing room is the fact that if you've bowled a good couple of balls, do you have to change it because the batsman's under pressure? Normally you want to see the variation when the bowler gets under pressure. And and, and, and Benura wasn't under any sort of pressure. Really good, really good bit of fielding out there. 16, 17 without loss at the end of three. So far, so good with the run chase for Colombo Kings. Intense contest at the moment. And Saranga will continue. Catch it! Use of the feet by Dinesh Chandimal was a difficult chance. It had to stick. It's probably saved three runs for the team, but again, Hasaranga getting a second over. Sir Ferreira going to his best bowlers early. Good effort that was travelling. You bowl and you're heading to your left. He had to come back to his right. Use of the feet again. Excellent stuff from Laurie Evans. Makes good contact and that's a my 11 circle champion shot. Right through the ball, Laurie Evans. He's hit that unbelievably hard. Advancing down the wicket. Flat backs it straight back pass went into Hasaranga. This is a big call. It's a tough ask to ask a leg spinner to bowl two on the trot in the power play. And again, this time it flies over the boundary, goes for six. Already 11 runs from the over. One into Hasaranga, under pressure. He's handled pressure really well. But without protection in the field. I say that because we are in the power play overs, only two allowed outside the circle. It's a little hard to use flight to try and deceive the batsman in the air right now. Batsman making all the moves. Five. Got him! Yeah. Under pressure. He seems to find a way. Vanindu Hasaranga. He's a star. Vanindu. Write that down. Incredibly well bowled. That, that was the googly. That was the googly. Not read at all by Laurie Evans through his defences. 
a great comeback there from Wanindu Hasaranga to Silva. And doesn't he love it? Laurie Evans, 14 of 10. Colombo Kings, 28 for 1. The 27 year old Daniel Bell Drummond is the new batsman, comes from the UK, plays for the Kent County team, averages 31 in T20 cricket. Inside edge, inside edge. Wow, Indu finds a way with bat, with ball. What a cricketer. You can say it was an investment. Ten runs before the wicket was taken by Hasaranga. Murray Evans uh, would have used his feet, hit him down the ground and went for a six. But he had the last laugh. Wicket in the over, 28 for one. Three extras so far in the innings. Dinesh Chandamal still there with his experience. Two overs in the power play. Under pressure by Laurie Evans. Advancing. Smack that. Smacked another. But Wawindu Hasaranga is not called for Wawindu for nothing. Tells you about his character as a person. Of course. And he always produces something when he's under the pump. He does. He's a, he, he is a big match player. But that doesn't happen by chance, guys. He works incredibly hard at his game. He's always first in the nets, last out of the nets, hits extra balls, bowls extra balls. He works so hard. Very dedicated cricketer. Picks this one up nicely. That had pace on it. And you could see the aggression. Goes for six. It's the angle into the pads that helped Chandimal flick it away. But I wish should persist. It should have the kind of length that will suit his type of bowling. Skid through. We will have to use variations to put batsmen off from just targeting him like that. Very good shot there from Dinesh Chandamal. The length was the what was the, was the thing there. He need that length was just a little bit too short. He needs to get it fuller. Hammers that Chandimal. He's in good form. We saw that in the very first game when the Colombo Kings were chasing down 219. He made 80. My 11 circle champion shot. There's no extra cover. There's a fielder on the point boundary. Just uses that pace. Hitting it on the rise, Dinesh Chandimal. Expressing himself. 
you could see his expression the energy that he's applying in the swing and again this time he finds the fielder what he's trying to do is make use of the power play over there's only two fielders outside the 30 yard circle there is a sweeper through the offside and there is a square leg so we'll be looking for the gaps two boundaries in the over so far a word on one into Hasaranga Darren four more one bounce my 11 circle champion shot well the worries of the first over for Chandimal left far behind he's come out he's blazed it he's freeing his arms up is Dinesh Chandimal and hitting some cracking shots that is a very very good shot the Colombo Kings batting mindset they will be thinking one big partnership and one mini partnership gets us home here and that's the difference when you know what to get batting first on a pitch that's slightly unpredictable is hard because you don't know how much you need Slow ball, 15 off the Abbott over. Five overs bold. Lumbo Kings, well placed at 43 for one. Fifteen runs off that last over. Chandamal has been batting crisply. Two fours and two sixes so far in his 26. Abbott's first over for a long time in the middle has just been pasted all parts, which is unlike Carl Abbott. That's not the uh, sort of treatment he's used to. Hasaranga has been quite extraordinary. With the ball earlier, and he picked up an important wicket with the uh, with the bat earlier. Picked up an important wicket with the ball. But that has gone for a boundary first ball of his third over. It's my 11 circle champion shot. Chandimal showing his intent. He's looking to disrupt bowling side's plans. He's cashing on every opportunity to score some runs. Patted with fluency. His movement is just uh, terrific. He's light on his feet. He's in such good form at the moment. He's not having to think about too much. When you're not in good form, you're thinking about a lot of things. He's just going with the flow. Oh, quick single. He's home. It's good running too. Malik, Malik, Malik. Easy, easy. Hasaranga has been good in this uh, tournament. Struggled a little bit in the power play. He went for a few and then the wicket. The Actually, the Chaffner Stallion should be congratulated for picking him. Because as a marquee player, every team picked two foreigners. This was the only team that picked a Sri Lankan. And that was, oh, they're asking the question. That's given. That's another wrong one. Vanidu Hasaranga is turning it on. And for a leg spinner to have such control, it's amazing. Yes, he was taken for a few runs in his previous over, but he has come back very strongly. He decided not to send it upstairs. Little chat with his partner. He was thinking about going upstairs. But then there's no doubt that Chandamo said, no, that's hit your pad first. There was a bit of a, a log jam, if you like, between ball, pad and bat. Bat on foot, I think, was the bottom line. Rarely bowled by Hasaranga again. Finger went up very smartly indeed. That's his second wicket. He is a class act. 
He really is. Drummond now. He's on his way. 48 for two. Two down. That one keeping a little bit low. Experienced captain Matthews keeps it out. That was his uh, second wicket. Tumman was uh, tempted. He challenged the umpire. But Chandimal must have asked him. Was there any lick if there was? You've been caught in the slip, so it's, it's, it's wise that you go back to the pavilion. 50 runs on the board, with two wickets down after six overs. Well, the Vice President of Sri Lanka Cricket, who is also the Tournament Director, Ravin Vikaratna, he's present, keeping a close eye on what's going on here. The skipper now, Tassara Pereira, he has been a big player in the Sri Lanka Premier League. Doesn't matter whether it's the bat or the ball, he's been taking some blinding catches too. Ball in his hand now, trying to make a difference. Sweeper on the offside. Just a little bit of uh, perspective. 51 for two now for the Colombo Kings at the same stage. Jaffna Stellians are 39 for one. It's been a good start for Colombo Kings. They haven't gone into a shell. They came out, battered with positive frame of mind. They're looking to hit boundaries. And Chandimal is doing, doing it quite well. Two key players for the Kings in the middle of the moment now. Turned apart on Matthews. Andre Russell was the other one. So they're the three guns with the bat with the side. Tassara Pereira would like nothing more than to break this partnership. Better than run a ball for Chandamal right now. He's played really nicely up until this stage. Strike rate of 144. I thought it was a big call. I know Mickey and Russell and the rest discussed it to bowl Vanindu Hasaranga in the power plays. He was under some pressure for sure. What was good about him is that he rose to the challenge and those two wickets. But it's really helped the Japna Stallions. He's got those vital breakthroughs. Now, Tisara Pereira has impressed many with his batting skills in Lanka Premier League. But he hasn't bowled badly. He's been uh, finding those right lengths consistently. What he has decided from the word go that he's going to bowl back of the length and 
has worked for him. Yeah, the odd ball's just holding on this track as well, so we're going to see a high percentage of slow deliveries for the rest of this game. We certainly saw it at the start. The ball is going to come onto the, the bat a little bit better because the outfield is a little bit on the damp side. You'll see the players, some of the players have got some uh, some rags. De Silva, Russell, Pranjan, the three guys to come. Andre Russell will just float around a little bit there. There's the rags just to dry the ball. That means there's Jude. So it will just come onto the bat just a fraction better than earlier in the day. 53 for two, three runs from that over. Just to follow on from what Rasham was saying, so the issue with Hasaranga, of course, is that uh, he's got three. Only got one over up his sleeve for a little bit later. Yes, he's done the damage, picked up two important wickets. That's uh, certainly kept the Stallions in the game. Vijay Kant, Vyas Kant. Come on, David, Vyas, come on! Patted at number 11, and here is his uh, opportunity with the ball. Oh, yes, Vyas, nice oh, How exciting Vyas. is this? 18 years of age. This is just sensational he's stuff. He's got a young, talented spinner. Li like to mention his name, Hazel? Vyas Malik! Vijay Kant, Vyas Kant, started off his spell with confidence. Straight down. A way of finding the right line and the length. He has come now to uh, ball his second delivery. Whoa, yes, yes. Well done, Hazy. Two men back on a square on the offside. You come long enough to Sri Lanka, not to yeah, struggle. Yeah, been him many times. Not to struggle. Here's and here's and here's love coming here. Giving nothing away, his line is absolutely perfect at this stage. Showing a lot of confidence in his skills. We ask Khan. Come, we ask, come, we ask. Oh, yes, we ask. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm interested to look at where Vanidu Hasaranga is fielding. He generally feels at cover, but he's now placing himself at extra cover. And every ball, he would come up to the young leg spinner, have a word just like that, and a lot of encouragement. And that is good, it's really great to have someone like Hasaranga just tutoring him and helping him along. And dry the ball importantly. Obviously, there he must be a bundle of nerves, this youngster. Been watched by millions, and uh, at an important stage of the game coming on, so he needs all the help in the world. You might be surprised, you know. Some of these young kids, as soon as they get in the park, as soon as they get the ball in their hands, suddenly it's a different game. Realize the opportunity, know what they want to do. It's a little bit short and wide. There is protection out there, though. Oh, it's a slight miss forward. It does okay in the end. Slippery. Again, an indication of the Jew. That's tidy first up. Six from it. 59 for two.
it's all locked away at the moment. Not much in this game. Tubic is down a piece at this stage and just uh, six runs in it. It was a good effort. But the fieldsman, after getting slapped, recovering quickly, not conceding the boundary. In the air, into the gap, should be a boundary. Kisara Ferrer has looked the ball short, or back of a length to Angelo Matthews. Looks look to try and get that ball high at about the shoulder of Matthews, who did well, rode the bounce and really rolled his wrist and hit it down. And a boundary off the second ball, the over. That's so important. It's a lovely little challenge, this one. Skipper to skipper. Tries it again, a little bit quicker, perhaps. Interesting to look at the lengths fast bowlers would try and bowl at Angelo Matthews. At least lately in his career, most bowlers have looked to try and bowl short or back up a length. Looked at bowling that high bouncing delivery. Tessera Pereira is doing exactly that. He's having Midoff up in the circle, not giving him anything to drive. Just dragging that length back. Good connection that time, just the one bounce and that scoots away for a boundary. A couple of short balls now. He's put away quite easily. He's becoming predictable. Pereira to the captain, Angelo Matthews. A couple of times he has attempted these pull strokes and he has executed them quite well. There Mile. he is. There's my 11 champion fan, my 11 circle champion fan. You, of course, could also have as much fun as that. If you download the my 11 circle app and have fun, play with the champions. Seventh and eighth over were quite for Colombo Kings and managed to hit two boundaries in this over. Pressure off. So 81 from 67 balls. That's the bottom line here. Eight wickets in hand. Chatting to himself, Chandamal. It's nicely played. Oh, it's going to be getting wetter and wetter as it goes on this outfield. They'll be drying it up as much as they possibly can in between overs. Nine overs gone. 69 for two. That's a pretty good position. And also time for a strategic timeout.
just want to go through a couple of numbers here just to show you how close this is 69 for two at the moment the original rate was 7.45 the required right now is 7.3 six runs adrift at the same stage that's the uh, advantage to the colombo kings the problem they've got is that Chandamal is playing really nicely for 30 out of 27. They've got to break this partnership and ideally get Chandamal. Beers Kunt is uh, continuing. One, one, one. He's on the leg side, sweeper in play, just one. I have a look at uh, both the leg spinners. One is more conventional. Side on Hasaranga more no, chest on, and that's why you see that uh, front leg braced. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, straight yes. away, there's a there's just a massive difference that uh, that screams at you. Just have a look at uh, the youngster, the 18 year old on the right. If we just come to look at that uh, front leg compared to Hasaranga. Oh, I know that's something Hasaranga yeah. is going to work on. Something Hasaranga will need to improve, I think, to get the bounce. I mean, a, a spin is always a leg spinner's best friend. So look at this one just uh, getting past with some extra bounce. It's a high delivery. That's nicely bowled. But just concentrate on the braced front leg of both of these bowlers in the split screen. Hasaranga on the left. That, that's perfect. Look at the height of release and also the closeness from the to the umpire. The release from uh, VS Kant is really good. And he uses his height. Only one thing I would like to see this leg spinner improving as a boundary is being hit. Nicely worked away on the onside. Chandamal has batted beautifully. Here he is. My 11 circle champion shot that was hitting against the spin never easy but he was in control Chandima yeah, just want to mention one thing about this youngster he has to fix his non-balling arm it goes really high he has to bring it down it has to be a bit of bend for him to be able to turn the ball sharply and be a different bowler. After 10, it's 75 for two. Five for two, ten overs completed. Balls against runs, 74 of 60. Colombo Kings have been good so far. This is Chaturanga de Silva, the brother Chaturanga de Silva. So they're building their attack around spin at the moment. Seeing young Vijay Vyas Khan bowl two overs for 12. Hasaranga opening the bowling. Oh. I think that was on the half ball, it's just short. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Roshan. Interesting to see Spin playing a role, and that youngster has been very, very impressive. It's certainly something for the spinners on this track. We've spoken about what the fast bowlers who get off lengths. But the spinners haven't been easy to get away. That's another look just short on the half volley. Always two quick wickets can really bring back that pressure on the batting side. That's what uh, 
the Chapter Stallions will be looking nice, at. Nice. And the other thing they've done well as a bowling combination is the number of dot balls they have bowled. They've done well in this over, three dot balls and a single. I think that's right. They're starting to rotate the strike. This is a big partnership in the context of this game. The two experienced players for the Colombo Kings at the wicket, with obviously the marquee under Rasa to come. Oh, what, what, what? Punched it out to deep long. Wall. There's the timing, there's the watch. Jay Ru Dre Russ playing with his watch. Obviously, he needs some good timing in tonight. Well, the dew seemed to be a factor. That's exactly what Angelo Matthews spoke of in the toss. And that's the reason why he opted to bat second. One of the reasons. Oh, yeah. Excellent last delivery. 77 for two. Good power play for Colombo Kings. 50 for two is what they scored. And the runs continue to flow. Dinesh Shandimal eyeing up another half century. That's a mile 11 circle champion shot. Shandimal has uh, really led from the front, basically opening the batting, using all his experience. A very close call when he reviewed that LPW. Since then, he's played the kind of innings that the Colombo Kings wanted. And what they should try and do is bat around him now. Well, they lost wickets in the fourth over and the sixth over. And since then, they've consolidated. There's a partnership happening 33 from 34. No need to panic. The required rate only eight. Bola, bola. And you have two experienced players at the crease, so. Expect that Colombo Kings will strengthen their position. They fly. With a lot of energy, Red Bull drink part for the My 11 circle. Lanka Premier League. Adios, Mali. Down the ground, Angelo Matthews gets a six. Just looking to break free here. And that will be critical for the Colombo Kings. They just don't want to be bogged down with dot balls. And Matthews. Going over long on. It was a big ask asking the young fella to bowl three in a row here, particularly to these two champion players, the, these two experienced players. They've got his measure now. Angelo yeah. Matthews was always going to attack this over. Yeah. This yeah. is high. This is high. And oh, oh, oh well yeah. done. Very well done indeed. Shoaib Malik was outstanding and Weir Khan has got his first wicket 
and what a wicket he turns out to be Angelo Matthews the captain of Colombo Kings Shoaib Malik had a great presence of mind it wasn't an easy catch just look at how he juggles and finally holds on to it I tell you what he turned a tough situation into an easy one in the end he bubbled it tapped it back and it was just the right height for him to get onto the field to complete the catch how often have we seen this in t20 cricket angelo matthews the umpires will just uh, double check to ensure that it was a clean catch that's brilliant he's inside completes the catch and it should be out now we can't be touching the outside and making contact with the ball jumping at the right time hands uh, pouching the ball and that's a huge wicket for the youngster yeah big wicket very big wicket and we are scant the man and the stallions needed this wicket chapter stallions that is and angelo matthews goes for 22 of 24 88 for three hey yeah Elimalaba. One ball to go, 88 for three. Andre Russell or Dre Russ as he's called comes out. Vias Kant has been magnificent. He's been hit for a four, a six, but never really panicked. He was good. He's also dangerous, Andre Russell. We know that, we know that. So it's up to the Ascant now. Make it two out of two. Could have been an edge. It wasn't the case. 88 to 3. My 11 circle MVP of the tournament to Sara Pereira, followed by Gunaratna. And this will change as we continue to the tournament. To Sara Pereira might remain there, the form that he's shown. Didn't get off with the bat today. Asuranga. Very good move, very good move indeed. Obviously looking for wickets. 50 for Chandamal. But Jack the Stallions are looking to dismiss Andre Russell. So they, they definitely, the ace they have to try and do that is Wanidu Hasaranga. Yeah, I think it's a really good move. Wanidu Hasaranga is, is the ace up their sleeve. And the matchup with the leg spinner early to Andre Russell is very good. Dinesh Chandimal, 50 of 36 balls. Very, very good innings. Colombo Kings will be wanting him to go the whole way. A responsible half century. is second in the tournament. is 20th in his career. This is interesting. How would Russell react? 
Hasaranga has, has a straight hit. He's got a deep mid wicket, long on, long off, and also a deep cover. Right. Straight away, the wrong one. He's going to test Russell. Yaskat will remember this wicket for a long time. And that's his first T20 wicket. And it's the big name, Angelo Matthews. The owners are happy. Everyone is happy in this Jaffna Stallions unit for the young man. That's the wicket they wanted. That is exactly what Jaffna Stallions wanted. Look at the celebration. They know it's the big wicket. Andre Russell, he's referred it. Where did it pitch? That's the question. And where was it hitting? Well, that's fine. The front foot, but it's the next frame. Let's see. One in the Hasaranga. That's it. Yeah. I, I. That's a, that's going to be interesting. I think that could be. Oh, could it be clipping? Could it be clipping off stump? You can see the leg stump if you look at uh, the screen to the left. That alone says that there's a strong possibility that that was missing. It's a conventional leg break as well. Was it the wrong on? Clipping would be out. In fact, it is missing. So, Russell survives. He survives. That's a big moment. Very big moment in the game. Andre Russell gone here. Colombo Kings would have been in serious trouble. The interesting thing was it forced Andre Russell to do something different. We don't really see Andre yeah. Russell come in and sweep. He normally hits straight down the ground. And I wanted... There's a, uh, Tesoro Pereira has placed himself directly behind Juan Win, Indu Hasaranga on the on the boundary, forcing Russell to go square. Right, 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 right. Easy, easy, easy. He's easy. kept him quiet. Obviously, the plan is to try and see out Juan Indu Hasaranga. He's a threat. He's bowled four deliveries now, one single, three dots. So right, Russell right, right, right. will try and see him out and just uh, not let any damage happen. Was charging. Was a good call. Just missing that off stump. They were quite confident and quite rightly so because just couldn't tell if it was going to clip the stump. Oh, that tells a story. Especially the the owners. They were disappointed. 89 for three. A good end by Vanidu Hasaranga, just a single. 13 overs gone. of 42 seven wickets standing but i can tell you it's much tighter than that the japan stallion bowlers okay. have uh, really bowled well created a lot of pressure young vs kant he's been impressive bowled a three over spell he's come back for his last over he has been very impressive i've been impressed with the bounce he's got he delivers from very high he's looked very very dangerous for a young fella Something to note when Jaffna Stallions batted at this stage, they were 89 for seven. Colombo Kings 90 for three. A big golf there and wickets loss.
<laughs> Jaffna Stallions lost too many wickets at this stage of the innings. That's why they couldn't accelerate and get the target that they wanted when they batted first. So the due factor, due is really, really is an issue for the spinners. <clears throat> and we seem to be having that in abundance at the moment. Just look to fire it in at Russell, that's 90. There's, there's that extra bounce again. Beautiful rip on the ball, and that extra bounce is what's deceiving Andre Russell. Again, Hasaranga in the position right behind the bowler on the boundary. Hey! This is very good indeed. Look who's the bowler is, and, and the batsman. He's not overawed at all. He's bowling to one of the most destructive T20 batsmen in the world. And he looks quite comfortable quite confident oh, yes. with his bowling one, one. the man who has a strike rate of 170 oh, yes. has played one, dot one, one, balls yes. against his youngster he's been so good and he's also bowled his four overs in a row which is very very rare in 2020 cricket been very very impressive one for 25 last ball of his spell now Needs to finish strong. Just fast point. Oh, it's a good effort, but just can't stop it. Figure spoiled a little bit, but nevertheless, a good return for the youngster. 95 for three, 14 overs gone. Veskant, one for 29 in four overs, excellent return. Remember the batsman he bowled to. He bowled to Chandimal, he bowled to Matthews and to Dre Russ. And bowling to such players and having a return of one for 29 in four is a very respectable performance for an 18-year-old playing in his first game. I love watching the two leg spinners bowling together because they are so different. But wow, they've bowled really well in tandem. Chaturanga de Silva. Jaffna Stallions will have to find a way for wickets. They just can't allow this pair to keep on with the partnership. You see that last ball boundary. Played it behind point. Good effort by the man on the cover boundary, Dananjay de Silva. Timing was perfect. Well, just to remind you that you need to download the My11 Circle app. If you want to pick your fantasy team, do that. Quite a few options in the My11 Circle Lanka Premier League. A newcomer, Vyaskant, might be a good pick in your fantasy team going forward in this My11 Circle Lanka Premier League. One is the call. Perfect. They'll trot back for two. Avishka Fernando on the boundary. Wickets as far as the Colombo, as far as the Jaffna Stallions are concerned. Dot balls are not going to help, particularly with Andre Russell there. It will create a bit of pressure, but Russell is the type of player who can release it. So he needs to be dismissed. They need to get through this batting lineup. Yeah, that's the only way the Jaffna Stallions are going to win is is with yeah. wickets. They need to get yeah, these two out, out and then that will give them yeah, a little chance. The question is, they've used up one in Duhasaranga. Reyes Khan, the other leg spinner, is done. So what are the bowling options available to the Jaffna Stallions? Okay, 
there is something for the spinners to work with, for sure. And it's base off the ball that is providing a bit of an extra challenge for Andre Russell, who likes the ball coming on to him. Pushing him to do something very different to overs remaining for Fernando. I think the Stallions have done brilliantly. Mickey Arthur touched on it. To just get Russell back differently. Looking to play shots that is generally not his go to when he's coming. He's looking to sweep. And he's not gone for those usual shots that we know he's capable of. Yeah, that's because the field that they've set has forced him to look to score in other areas. They've done it. They've done their homework. Have the Jeff Stallions here. 100 for three. The dot ball to end the over. Another good one, just five runs off it. The color. Bumbo Kings down to the last five overs, they need 49, it's 100 for three.